people would have wished that they bought Shiba Inu at 15 million market cap, or let's get it better yet, a 3.8 million market cap. This crypto lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Squid Grow. Which, of course, if you've been following the channel, you know that I'm bullish on this token. I'm accumulating this token because I believe out of all of the meme coins in the space popping up daily, this is the number one for me in terms of, you know, potential Shiba Inu gains, potential Dogecoin type gains. Potential is the key word there, right? It doesn't mean it's 100% going to happen. Uh, but one thing I would highlight is that I don't expect this to happen overnight. So the fact that I've been buying the token, right, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market, right? And I have bought lows and I bought highs of this token, right? It's called dollar cost averaging in. So when it's all said and done, my average position should work out for the better, especially when this goes to the moon if it goes to the moon which i believe that it will for several reasons All right guys but getting some general questions in the comments in telegram um some positive some uh, negative comments as well the trolls love to come out when price is going down they don't say anything over here despite whether they had a chance to take profit despite whether it's going to the moon or not when tokens start to come down they come on the channel they start talking rubbish and they put their smiley face emojis and you know they think they're smart but these people are actually dumb i don't actually have time for nobody's in the comment section what i do is i just delete them hide them from the channel it's nothing to me right but with squid grow for those that are interested right this is a long-term hold for me and I believe that it's going to do well i'm betting on the developer all right guys so we see a lot of projects coming out launching you know, there's many, you know, Chihuahua, for example, CHH, I talked about that the other day. Now, for me, I took profit on that, right? Um, a lot of meme coins, once you get that first pump, I'll take profit, right? I'm not going to hold every meme coin, but with Squid Grow, Squid Grow, I believe that it could, it could potentially go into the hundreds of millions, the billions of market cap, right? And if I believe that, why am I going to get out or why am I going to worry about the price when it's at a 15 million market cap? In fact, if you if you go to coin market cap, that's only the fully diluted market cap, right? So the actual market cap reported on here, we don't know if it's accurate or not, 3.896 million. So when I look at the growth potential of something like Squid Grow, which I believe separates itself from all other meme coins, uh, one of the main reasons being the developer, right? I'm betting on the dev, Shibtoshi, right? Who is a billionaire, which, you know, that, that's the common, you know, obviously theme around this token. It's founded by a Shiba Inu billionaire. People are talking about that all the time. But he's actually also a Bitcoin billionaire, right? And if this person, the person that created this project, is able to hold and not sell and not dump and not screw over the Bitcoin community, or the, uh, the the Shiba Inu community, right? Um, you know, the Shiba Inu community more so because obviously it's, it's not the same kind of, obviously market cap is much lower uh, than Bitcoin, for example, right? Um, if this person is able to do that, willing to do that, then I don't believe that he would either, he, I don't believe that he would screw over the Squid Girl community, especially considering he created his token, right? So, the fact that he created this token also to help people, right, and give people a chance at making gains, right, um, you know, I believe that, you know, this is going to do well, right, it's just the backstory, the storyline behind it, right, it's inspiring people, right, so I'm betting on the developer, I'm betting on the storyline with this particular project, and not only that, we've already seen signs of the potential in the price action, where the whole market was going nuts to the downside, right, this was one of the only coins that was doing these numbers, therefore bringing a lot of attention onto this project. So when it comes to this dip right here, right, I actually missed this dip. I would have liked to have bought that dip at the time. You can see it got bought all the way back up. The reason that I missed this dip right here, I was buying dips over here, right, and I missed a big one. But the reason that I missed it is because I don't look at this chart every day. I bought the tokens, right? I buy the tokens every now and again. And what I do is I bring them right over to the website 
and I stake it right here in the platform. I'm not one of those people that's harvesting my rewards every five minutes, redepositing it into the contract. I will do once that accumulates, but you know, it's only 50% APY, right? It's only 50% APY. If I was in this pool providing liquidity, it's 500%. I'll be more actively compounding. So I don't even come over here very much. In fact, I've only just come in here just for the sake of this video, right? But um, and and the reason that I don't liquidity pool stake, right, is because I want I don't want any impermanent loss. I want to hold on to my squid grow, right, and the gains will be much more. Could potentially be much more just holding squid grow in itself and staking squid grow rather than pairing it up with BNB in equal amounts, right, and then facing that impermanent loss. And then if it goes up, um, I'm only getting half of that, um, you know, positive volatility uh, to my position, right. So. In a nutshell, buy it, stake it, and chill it, uh, and chill. Sorry, um, I made a video uh, talking about that the other day. So I'm still bullish on this platform, right? And um, at the end of the day, what you need to understand is that uh, this is a team that has experience, right? Uh, we also have the developer, of course, Shibtoshi, who you know is just a diamond hander, right? And he's got resources. He's pumping, you know millions of dollars of his own money into the marketing. Remember, there is no marketing fee on this platform, right? Some people are asking about the uh, contracts, right? Why is the contract not renounced and things like that? If you understand anything about crypto, right? In fact, let's just read this, right? So on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, sorry, it says here that the following asset can be modified by the contract creator. They can disable selling, change the fees, mint new tokens or transfer tokens and so on. Please exercise caution and so on. All right, guys. Now, the Squid Grow team, right, are listing on several exchanges. So there may come a time where they may need to change the, uh, what is it, the, um, uh, the fees on the token because right now it's eight percent in eight percent out right and when they get to that stage where they may start changing fees right they can't do that if they renounce the contract so there is a reason to have you know access to the contract the keys to the contract and so on right uh, not only that but if you listen to the amas they are planning to bridge this token also over to Ethereum. So when we look at the long-term potential, right? Right now, it's only on the Binance Smart Chain. There's a lot of Ethereum whales that don't mess with the Binance Smart Chain. You have to understand, you may be new to crypto, so I'm just going to explain this, right? A lot of people don't like the Binance Smart Chain, right? Um, a lot of people love the Ethereum network. The Binance Smart Chain, we started out with lots of scams, lots of, you know, meme coins, of course, you know, lots of, uh, you know, pancake fluffy cake like all sorts of crazy tokens right had a bad reputation from the beginning it's getting a little bit mature now um a lot of people uh, you know and, and especially those that are interested in lower fees this is more likely go to right a lot of people are on the binance smart chain that have never even used the ethereum network i kind of realized that the other day as well right i've been around for a long time so you know i'm familiar with both networks and many others right but um i think there's going to be a lot of benefit to bridging this token over to Ethereum, and there's other exchanges that won't list Binance Smart Chain tokens. They will only list Ethereum-based tokens. All right, guys. So, with this bridging over to Ethereum, that's going to bring a lot more volume into the chart, the price action of this particular token. So, when I look at this chart, for example, it just looks like a general pullback at the end of the day. It could come all the way back down here and form some sort of support level, right? And I'll still be buying this token because I'm looking at the long-term potential gains. I made another video when I compared this to the price of the order chart of Shiba Inu, right? We get a lots of ups and lots of downs. So it's not about timing the market. You're not always going to buy the, you're not always going to sell the top. You're not always going to buy the bottom. But when you dollar cost average in, which I don't do on many meme coins, right? But for something that I see as a long term hold and super early at super low micro caps, this is still under 100 million, still under a billion, right? This is a micro cap cryptocurrency, right? So for me, the long term potential, I believe that this can become a, a you know, a, a huge market cap, right? A huge market cap cryptocurrency and compete with the top meme coins like Shiba Inu, Dogecoin and so on. So, you know, this for me 
is still the beginning. It's still super early. Like, this is the four-hour chart. It looks like nothing, right? If we go on the one-day chart, nothing. It's literally just beginning, right? If you go and compare this with other charts or other cryptocurrencies that people wish they would have caught early, people would have wished that they bought Shiba Inu at 15 million market cap, or let's get it better yet, a 3.8 million market cap. You know, I would have loved to have bought Shiba Inu at that market cap, right? And, you know, it's all about risk. It's all about managing your risk as well, of course. You know, not don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. If you're stuck looking at the chart every day and you're really worried about your position, then you are overexposed to squid grow. I will say that, right? But, um, you know, I'm just looking at the long-term potential of this project. And, um, you know, I'm not going to make videos every single day, but I'm going to continue to talk about this project because I believe in it, I support it, and I'm holding it, right? It's, it's probably, no, it's the only meme coin that I am holding long term. The other ones are just, you know, make some gains in between, right? So, I just wanted to put this video out. I just wanted to kind of talk about my thought process behind this token. Um, you know, this could come down further, right? And if it does... I see it more as an opportunity. I'm more afraid to sell Squid Grow than I am to buy Squid Grow, right? And when I buy it, I'll take it over, I'll stake it, and I'll leave it. By the time Squid Grow breaks its new, uh, breaks its previous all-time high, which I believe that it will, right? In the long term, even in the mid-term, I believe it's going to do that, right? Um, it's going to take my portfolio to, you know, or, or at least my Squid Grow holdings uh, in dollar value, to massive a massive valuation all right guys so yeah just wanted to put that video out let me know what you think in the comments do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video